Hey guys, what is going on? Like man, one, two, three, I'm back with another video. Hey, today so I'll be sharing my complete Harry Potter section four. Now, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first and probably major change is that I've actually added in the Quidditch match from the Forcer Stone, and I've also changed where it was originally going to be positioned because originally it was actually going to be here, but it didn't actually fit and it didn't look as good because it was just really cracked and just really squished up. So I've actually moved the two brick heads and Aragon's layer to the front and I think it does look pretty nice there. So this set does look pretty good. I like the four houses with their stadiums, the colours and the stickers are great. And then also the play feature and minifigs are a great selection as well. But I kind of wish they maybe included a bit more inside of each of the stadiums because in the movie Hermione does catch Snape's cape on fire to distract him but there's really no way of reenacting that in the Lego form so I have put the little play feature up where the fire part is and Snape is freaking out and I just added Hermione down here to show like who just came down almost like in, in an elevator sort of way like came down and just walking along so the next section is Chamber of Secrets, but also maybe Philosopher's Stone because I'm not really sure where Lego like decided to aim the brickhead of Harry Potter and Hedwig. So it could be Chamber of Secrets or Philosopher's Stone. So I just added it there to like be in the middle of each of the films. So Aragon's Lair is a pretty cool and small set. The spider build is great and the two minifigs are great as well. The next section is the biggest section and that is the... Prisoner of Azkaban, the first set, which I think really doesn't belong in this section because I think it would have been much better to get the Hogwarts train and its station in the Philosopher's Stone, but it's great to have this set nonetheless. So the build of the station is great. I love just how much is happening and how much it does look like a real station in London with the King's Cross sign there and then like the play feature of the door flipping open. The train build is just amazing. I love just how many details they have put onto it as a real locomotive. I believe that is what the Hogwarts Express is supposed to represent. And then some great stickers as well. The next set is Expecto Patronum. I recently did a review on that so you can see all my thoughts on that. But just very quickly, quickly it's a great set with some great minifigs. Especially the stag with its sparkles. And then the build is pretty interesting with the tree designs and then the play feature is you could just shoot that by using a stud shoot and then behind the Spectre Patronum set we do have the night bus I think it, it is very movie accurate and I just love how much detail is both inside and out side and then the three minifigs you do get are pretty great as well and then next set is my first goblet of fire set I just love this set and my camera does not want to focus on it but I just love this set for the dragon build. I really did enjoy building the dragon. The colors are great and then the design of it is great. And then I do love the golden egg piece. I think it does look great and I like how it, the dragon is chained up. And then the small rock build is pretty interesting as well. And then the four minifigs are great. I believe Victor Crumb, Cedric Degree and Fleur Della. Law, I think that's how you say it. I think there are three exclusive minifigs in this set, but I don't think Harry is because we do see him in other sets. And then I do like the build for his broomstick, which I believe is called Firebolt. And then the tent build is actually pretty cool as well. It does have four pretty cool stickers inside, which you will hopefully see in a review coming soon. And then the final set for the Harry Potter section. It's not actually classified as a Harry Potter set but I really don't have anywhere else to put it but it is in the Harry Potter universe with magic and wands so I thought why not just add it in this section and that is the Fantastic Beast Lego Dimensions. So I think the build is great I love just how much is happening in this set with the play feature of it seems to be like an elevator if it, if it does work like that and it does happen on the same side and then also the pieces they have used are really great as well, I also like that really cool 1x4 round tile sticker. 
but you only do get one minifig and that is Newt Scamander so I've just added three other minifigs from the Fantastic Beast universe and I think they fit pretty nicely as well and then the build of the Niffler is also very cute so if you guys did enjoy this video and wow just looking at this is just amazing I love just how magical it does look and just how amazing it does look on the display so you're probably wondering well if you get any more harry potter sets where are you going to place them and that is a great question because honestly i have no idea because i really want to keep the harry potter section in one part of the room but that may be a bit hard because this section is pretty full so i may be considering to add them somewhere else like over here but i'm not actually very sure because this looks like it's going to run out of room very fast so hopefully i'll find a good spot for them or i might just have to seal them for now which i really do not want to do so as always hope you guys did enjoy this video and i cannot say so good bye